and welcome to the Mathly YouTube channel. The following video was recorded by one of our staff members live at one of our contests. So let's begin by counting the um, the 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 sums, the possible sums of uh, three dice. And so here if we make a set. I want to be a little formal here. He sets x y z such that x plus y equals z, and then we have uh, x plus z equal y. And then x uh, y plus z equal x. We can just start listing, let's say one of them, and then by symmetry um, and or and, and partly ordering, um, we can uh, we can list the remaining ones by just counting um, each unique pair and then doing its permutations, counting its permutations. So here we just start with one. So from bottom to the top, we have one one two. So because one plus one is two, uh, we have one plus two is three. 1 plus 3 is 4, 1 plus 4 is 5, 1 plus 5 is 6, and we can't go any further. Because 1 plus 6 is 7, but 7 is not on a 6-sided dice. Let's move on to 2. Uh, we're not going to count 2, 1, because we'll count that at the end when we're doing permutation counting. So we'll start with 2. 2 and 2 give us 4. 2 and 3 gives us 5. 2 and 4 gives us 6, and that's how far we can go. Start with three, can't go one and two. Let's start with three. Three plus three is six. And that's it, because three plus four is seven. And then four, starting with four, four plus four is eight. And then same thing. So we those all, the rest of them don't work. So these are all the pairs, uh, or the three tuples, I mean. Since uh, these are just non-ordered, we need to order them to account for the remaining cases. Um, this first pair, one, one, two, is, can be done in three ways, basically three factorial, but the ones are the same, so you just divide by two. But here, one, two, and three, these can be arranged in six ways, and then doing everything in a similar fashion gives us this. This will give us one, two, three, four, five, six counts of six orderings plus three counts of three orderings. That gives us 36 plus nine is 45 for, for this first case, right? The second case, we're going to consider the product. And we're going to define the set the same way, except the such, the, the, the expressions that come after are just products. X, Y equals Z, X, Z equal Y. Um, these should just be four. Right. And we'll list uh, the pairs the same way. We have one, one, one. One, two, two, one, three, three, one, four, four, one, five, five, and one, six, six. Starting with two, we're not going to do two, one, uh, because it's the same thing as one, one times two. So we'll start with two. Two times two is four. Two times three is six. And that's it. Starting with three, uh, but three times two is six, and three times one is three, which is symmetric. So uh, we're done listing because anything else will just give us a product of greater than six, which is not what we want. Do the same procedure in case one, we count all the permutations. This is a special one because one 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 only has one permutation. They're all the same number, but the rest either have three or six. So here we have six counts of three permutations plus one count of six permutations and one count of one permutation that gives us 18 plus 7, that is 25 for this case. But we're not done yet because this is actually a special case. If we uh if we realize that um the intersection of these two sets, uh interesting. We see that the 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 set the the permutation that they have in common are all the permutations of two, two, and four. And that makes sense because two plus two equals two times two, which is four. And so since we count those twice in both of those cases, we need to remove uh, one of them so that we count everything once and only once. And so we have our final count. That is 45 plus 25 minus 3, and that's 67. Uh, when we're rolling three fair six-sided dice, there are 216 ways to get any, any three numbers, uh, 6 cubed. And so our answer is 67 over 216. 
Hi everybody, this is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.